Hey, welcome everybody to Monday Kickoff. I have some words of encouragement for you today from Philippians chapter 3. These come out of my quiet time this month. Two years ago this month, my mom passed away, and I was reflecting on her home going and my sadness of not being with her, not seeing her now. But these words really encouraged me, and I wrote some principles down for myself that I'm going to share with you that I hope will encourage you this week. But just listen right now as I read to you from Philippians chapter 3. Here's what Paul wrote. He said in that passage of scripture, I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things or that I have already reached perfection, but I press on to possess the perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No, dear brothers and sisters, I've not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. But we must hold on to the progress we have already made. Dear brothers and sisters, pattern your lives after mine and learn from those who follow our example. For I've told you often before, and I say it again with tears in my eyes, that there are many whose conduct shows they are really enemies to the cross of Christ. They are headed for destruction. Their God is their appetite. They brag about shameful things, and they think only about this life here on earth. But we are citizens of heaven where the Lord Jesus Christ lives, and we are eagerly waiting for him to return as our Savior. He will take our mortal bodies and change them into glorious bodies like his own. Use the same power with which he will bring everything under his control. All right, here are the principles I jotted down for me and maybe for you. Number one, never give up. Press forward to possess the perfection Christ has already possessed for me. You know, my mom is now in possession of everything that Christ accomplished for her on the cross. Someday, you and I will also be in possession of all of that joy, all of that hope, all of that glory that is going to be yours and that's going to be mine. So number two, don't dwell on the past. It's finished. You know, there's no use dwelling on past regrets and failures. Old things have passed away. Listen, behold, all things become new. We are moving into God's future for us. So focus on your future hope, where you're ultimately going to be. Thirdly, I wrote down, hang on to what God's already doing in your life or in my life. Don't get discouraged. Don't question hope that's ahead. Be thankful for what God's already doing. Number four, I wrote down, we are already citizens of heaven. So let's focus on conducting ourselves that way. Let's behave according to our citizenship the country we really belong to, our true leader, Jesus Christ. We are citizens of heaven. That is awesome, isn't it? Number five, I wrote down, we are nearing departure time. Even if Christ does not return in our lifetime, we are all going to die someday. We don't know when. And at that moment, we are going to come into his glorious presence. You know, Psalm 116 says, precious is it in the sight of the Lord when his when his loved ones, when his chosen pass away, because he gets to wrap his arms around them like he's going to do you and me. In number six, I wrote down, Jesus is going to change our weak bodies into one like his own. That is so cool. God's going to take your body and my body and he's going to change them. And in the resurrection, we will receive bodies just like his. Some people ask me a question, well, where are our loved ones now? Or what will I be like in paradise? Well, in paradise, I believe we have some form. I don't know exactly what it is. I do know that Elijah and Moses appeared after the death on the Mount of Transfiguration. What's interesting in Luke's account of that, Luke chapter 9, it says that they, not just Jesus, but Elijah and Moses were shining, were glorious to see. So our loved ones who died in Christ, if we were to see them right now, would be glorious to see. And you will be glorious to see someday as well. Last but not least, I wrote down that right now, in this chaotic world, I have hope that Christ is eventually going to bring it under his control. So I hope those words speak to you. I hope they help you get a bounce in your step this coming week and stay encouraged. Remember, you are a citizen of heaven. Behave like that this week. God bless you guys.